Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful May. It's already afternoon, folks. Uh, before we start, uh, I'm going to check the sound here. Uh, if you guys are watching right now, uh, can you guys hear me? How's the sound, Brent? Uh, one second. Okay, so I'm going to have some check the sound. First, sounds, good. Sound sounds good. Okay, so we are on right now. Okay, sound sounds good. Okay, for now. It's all depend on the the internet bandwidth hopefully continues to we're gonna have some good sound here anyway so let's get going so we are going to compare the Casper versus the Gorilla Gearbirds it's called Blackbird and uh, I'm gonna I was planning on doing like a tricklet but you know what L let's do espresso okay I'm thinking about doing it let's do the espresso and it, we are I'm gonna be dialing with the geisha Okay, uh, I'm gonna dining with the geisha from Good Brothers Coffee. It's gonna be a tricky one because so this is the more like medium to light roast, uh, and the, this coffees, uh, this grinders here. Sometimes you're gonna have some really hard time the dialing in, especially lighter roast. Okay, and this is really it's gonna be interesting. I already dialed in once. But so this is my uh, and there so I dialed in once before I uh, I did the first shot, so this is the I dialed in I adjust my grinder setting, so get my fingers crossed. Hopefully, uh, we're gonna get some you know, at least we can compare the two shots, cast versus gorilla, okay. And the, another thing is uh, I'm gonna be using the Lillette Bianca. I know some of you home. Why don't you use the uh, the uh, the level? Okay, why don't you use the a uh, pressure profile? But I'm not gonna do that for the comparison's sake. I'm gonna go straight to nine bar pressure, and hopefully uh, we're gonna do one to two ratio, 18 gram in, about 40 gram out as the output. Okay, uh, 40 gram as the output there. Uh, meantime, I'm gonna shout out to friends at uh, live chat make sure come hang out with us okay on the live chat I, I see some our old friend we got Marshall sounds good we got Kenny Jason we got cook, uh, cooker for coffee as well we got Richard from friends man uh, good to see you guys again so let's get going okay it's, uh, it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be very fun uh, comes to tasting notes uh, it's gonna be white honey raspberry and rose petals okay so let's find that so i'm gonna be using ims filter baskets so i'm gonna be compare both at the same time i'm gonna be using the again so this is the df64 so this is df64p uh p it's pretty much made for espresso only uh, with the DF64 uh, very versatile you can do espresso go all the way up to uh, filter coffee but with DF64P is only good for espresso that's it all right so we have uh, two identical baskets uh, fitted with IMS all right And then we are going to grind some coffee here. By the way, if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Okay, here we go. So let's start with, so this is the DF64. So this one has the Caspers inside. Yeah, Caspers. I'm telling you, it works pretty good, I have to say, okay? Uh, with the Caspers, I mean, if you're looking for clarity, I think MP has the edge, and then next best thing is the cast. 
and then after that an HU burst so okay so this man a lot of head space there so this is all right here we go I don't know about this I'm a little concerned about the grind size I'm, I wonder it might be too fine we'll see so next one we're gonna move on to Gorilla Gearbirds The both smells amazing by the way. It smells really good. Just gonna do a WDT. I'm using the force temper for consistency. Again, man, this is a even finer. All right, I'm gonna put the puck screen on the top. All right, guys, so let's pull the shot, okay? Let's pull the shot here. So we're gonna do two shots. So this is the Gorilla Gearbirds. I'm going to do a straight nine bar shot, hopefully. Okay. Looks pretty good so far. I'm going, I'm trying to shoot for about 40 gram. I got 22 seconds at 40. Okay. So this is a 40 gram. This is the Gorilla Gear set to the side. Let's move on to the next one. So this is the cast. The cast birds. Gram. 30, <coughs> 33 seconds <clears throat> okay so it's about 10 second difference there so this is from cast that's from gorilla 22 uh, 22 second shot versus the uh, 33 second shot so you know what man it is a widely different shot. It is. All right. It is definitely a different shot. But, but, so right now, okay, I'm, what I'm trying to do is, is there a difference between the Gorilla Gear versus Cast? Even though they are different shot, and the least you're going to, uh, we are going to taste the, the essence of the coffee okay i'm talking about the essence of the coffee uh, i'm talking about the is you know what? i'm gonna try anyway okay i know some people think that it might be way off but i don't know oh so again 
cast versus the gorilla. So let's start with gorilla gear. So 22, a uh, 22 second shot. I mean, I like to be around 25 to 30 seconds, but 22 is close enough. Okay, close enough. Chirps. Okay, raspberry hit, hit you in your mouth, okay? Raspberry is right there. The body of white honey for sure, okay? Oh man, the finishing touches the, the rose petal, yeah. I mean, I can taste all the tasting notes. It's quite nice, okay. I think it's gonna be a little sour, but it's not. I mean, it's, yes, I think I, I can extract a little more, but I think I, I, get, I get the gist of it. All right, so this is the Caspers. So this is 33 second shots, okay? 33 second shots. You might say it might be, so again, the comes to, st there's, think about the standard. There's no standard. It's, it's all about what you like, okay? I know some people like to go up to 35 second shots. I know some of you have to go up to 40 second shots. And uh, you know, people, we talk about uh, the recipe between 25 and 30 second shot. So this is considered as slightly over, okay? 32 second shots. So. Here you go, cheers. So this is the cast. Man. I think I might have to do one more time for Gorilla. Okay, I think I have to, I like to do one more time. But here's the thing, because the Casper has been seasoned nicely, all right? Yeah, I've been using it for a while. With the Gorilla Gear, I just installed it well, a couple of weeks ago. But according to Gorilla Gear, you don't have to season. According to them, you don't have to season it because they, the way it's designed it, uh, you don't have to season much. So having said that, I felt like the Casper give you that give you them more vibrant tasting notes. Okay, the vibrant tasting notes. I'm thinking. I think you know what? Let's do one more. Okay, let's do one more. At this point, uh, I like to give to Casper's right now as the tasting notes. I mean, it's much better flavor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one more. So this is a 22 second shot because I want to extend it about 25 to 27. Uh, right now I'm at the grind size 30 on Gorilla Gear, which means I need to go down to about even like 25. I'm at 30 right now. Maybe go to like 25. Maybe 25. Okay, the, the reason why, I, uh, whenever I'm going down grind size, I, I like to run the grinder. Okay, let's go down about 25. Uh, 25, more like 20, maybe 27, maybe around 27. By the way, one thing I don't like about the DF64P. Here, let me show you what. You put you put uh, we put the dosing cup in it. If you want to adjust the grinder grind size, you cannot see from the bottom. Okay, unfortunately, you cannot see from the bottom there. So, only way to do that properly is you have to remove it and look at the grind size because especially I'm go uh, going up. It's not that important, but especially going down, yeah, going down, I need to. I mean, I mean, I, I, mean, I, I want to see exactly, because I, I do want to run the grinder before. So, so we're going to do one more time here. So, so this was, a, again, the 22 second shot. I felt like the test, uh, tasting was a little flat, okay? So hopefully, this time around, 
we gonna we didn't get the tasting notes I'm looking for again there's no shortcut okay there's no magic number for grind size because I bet you if I'm gonna do that again tomorrow most likely I have to adjust grind size for sure because this is really fresh uh, roasted on October 5th so because a geisha like this especially light roast you're gonna wait about two weeks okay sometimes three weeks all right so let's do one more time folks By the way, if you are just joining us for the first time, uh, that's what we do. We just hang out and make some coffee. Okay. So we just adjust the grind size. And then, a little noisy. Again. Watch if it's what you get, guys. All right. Uh, DF64, P or E or regular. It's all about the birds. Man. Look at this. So this is really fine. Okay, this is really fine grind size. All right, let's see. I'm a little anxious. The grind size. So we're at 30. Look at the, how much the, the space between. Okay, this is quite a bit. So this is about 20 gram baskets from IMS if I'm gonna do something uh, I, I might need to up my dosing amounts to like 20 gram next time so let's find out okay let's find out okay guys I have feeling It's going to be, uh, we'll see, who knows. All right, here we go. Get the big glass going here. The shot looks better than before. <clears throat> it was just about nine bar pressure there. Twenty nine seconds. Okay, twenty nine. So other shot was thirty two gram, uh, thirty two seconds. So yeah, very close to. The, uh, the Caspers. So this is somewhat uh, kind of like a uh, better comparison. Okay, let's put it that way. So, the, uh, so this might be a better comparison uh, one before. So cheers. So let's find out. Okay, let's find out which one is I don't want to say better. Uh, definitely different. I'm going to shout out to Joe. Joe in the live chat right now. If you have any questions with uh, DF, Joe's the man. Okay, ask him. He's the owner of Espresso Outlet. Hooked me up with all the DF, so uh, he's very knowledgeable. Here we go. Yeah. 
Yeah. So now I, I, I get has a lot more body to it, more texture. But the Caspers, <clears throat> I felt like they bring out the, all the different the tasting that's more clear. Okay, more clean. Cleaner taste, more vibrant, for sure. So even though the Casp uh, with the Gorilla Gear Burrs, yeah, it's good. Okay, don't get me wrong, it's all great burrs. But this is more, I guess, better for like espresso, kind of like the classic style espresso, like Italian style, more like medium to darker roast there. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Okay. And then you feel something more clean. Uh, the separation of the tasting notes. I go with the MP. Okay. And the Caspers give you a little bit more body to it. <clears throat> okay, more body to it. And then after that, we got the MP, uh, we got the HE birds and Gorilla Gear. Okay, last three that So we got the, uh, we got the H, oh, I'm sorry, we got the MP, Cast, and then HU and Gorilla in that, uh, in that order. If you are looking for, uh, kind of looking for clarity, let's put it that way, okay? Uh, if you are looking for more body to it, more body and texture, go opposite direction, okay? Uh, HU burst, definitely. And then it's a uh, cast. It's kind of like right on between there. Man, so that's, that's personal choice at this point, okay? It's definitely a personal choice. So, all right. So, Joe said he's been using the 83. Joe likes it. Okay. Joe likes the 83 birds. Hopefully, he's going to hook me up with that one. So, I want to see for myself. All right. Hold on a second. Let's see here. We got the uh, rainbows just joining us. Hold on, Joe said, Joe is not carrying the Prophet Tech. Whole lot of love and, okay, Clive. Oh, good, I'm, I'm glad you guys are asking. Excellent, okay. Okay, so Joe say uh, he sh shipped the 83, 83 millimeter is one of those birds that, you know about a lot of options comes to SSP wise. I mean, I don't know. I mean, what kind of bird option for... Hey, Joe, what's good for? I mean, are you, are you using as a filter coffee or espresso? Yeah, let me know. <coughs> Again, I mean, if you're looking for espresso, uh, depend on the style, though. I mean, if you're looking for a different style, man, I mean, I mean that's why... I mean, that's uh, Joe say espresso. Uh, yeah, I mean... Once you start getting into coffee, you have a lot of options now, okay? You have a lot more options. So before, okay, before you have a bird options, you know, I mean, based on the brand name, right? Uh, at that time, we got, we got Eureka, we got Mazo, and the else is making uh, grinders. And then, so now, this single dose options now, the DF64 is such popular grinder because do you have 64 millimeter? I mean, goodness, you have like in like here, you have a lot more options, okay? You got a, uh, MP, HU, Cast, Gorilla Gear, and also we have, I bet you we have a, uh, the Fellow Oat has a different burst, okay? Uh, from the Fellow as well. You have a lot of, you have a lot of options. And that comes to 98, you got some other options, but they are way, way, I don't want to say overpriced, but very expensive, okay? But uh, now we have the, the 60, uh, 83 millimeter, the right on between. So I'm really looking forward to trying out though. By the way, so it comes to conical birds, okay? We got the conical, we have a niche. And then we have uh, all the hand grinders, okay? They're all conical as well. And not only that, we got some other off brand, okay? We got have when it comes to flat bird grinder, we got Coffee Diva that's coming out soon. And I think I feel like I'm uh, uh, journals or journals. Another 64 millimeter grinder is coming out as well. If, if you guys are into coffee, this is a great time. Okay, this is a great time to getting into coffee right now. If you are into coffee and coffee 
grinders okay coffee grinders this is fantastic time all right so let's see here richard is asking uh to ship to europe man i mean the shipping cost is going to be the killer though okay the shipping cost and also you got to pay high taxes on it i don't know i mean i don't know it's uh, even worth it you know buying from us and ship it to other countries yeah okay so joe say joe got some nice looking grinder samples coming so so yeah you know what yeah let me know what that is joe it's a uh, here he said he's directly shipped from it by the way i mean there were so many great grinders coming out i can't even keep track of it all right i mean yeah definitely i mean this is crazy time okay it's crazy time anyway so if you're just joining us we just compare uh cast uh, casper versus the gorilla gearbirds here uh you know what i think i have to give uh edge to uh caspers okay i think i've personally i like the copy the tasting of from cast over gorilla so far okay i mean i'm talking about just one you know only one coffee right now so i use the geisha too so let's see here uh, I'm gonna, again i'm gonna shout out to joe i think joe is uh not only he setting the df but he has all the ssp uh collection as well all the selection too so um if you're planning on buying df have them do the alignment okay just pay extra have them do the alignment uh, have them just set the zero points just yeah definitely worth a few bucks Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.